Hi guys, so we're here at North Cobb High School and we are setting up one of their batting cages. It's size 14 by 14 by 75, number 36 net. Um, so it's two, two batting cages we did. It has double doors on each end, overlap ends and double net, and it's attached with net savers, also has flanges, and the turf itself is five millimeters padding, batting cage. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you inside. These are the net savers that I'm talking about. The net savers are just so the net itself won't be damaged. And also in the middle, it won't touch the other nets. And here are the doors. And here are the net stoppers. The wind is super, super, super hard. So as you can see, it's blowing all these nets. Um, one of the special things about this batting cage is that it, we have put in anchors. You know, like I'm saying. So the wind won't be pushing and disturbing the players as they practice. Right here is a curtain that they have that we put up to divide just so they could practice on, you know, one one side and the other side. And let me show you how it is. Go ahead and Slide it. More nut savers. Anchors. Okay. on and show you the other side. In the middle are the net savers so they won't be as like I was saying the wind is super hard so it's blowing the net but luckily these net savers aren't allowing them to touch or and also when they play you know they won't hit each other. Okay. Here's another curtain. As you can see, there's a little rope right here that's attached to it. Reason for why is because there's no padding on the other side of this, and you can see the fence. Therefore, the reason for the rope is so this, it will not get damaged, the net won't get damaged, and get stuck on this fence. So it's a pretty cool, that's a cool idea. Let me show you. Here it is, and as you can see, I'm moving it, and it's really strong. So, as strong as this wind is, there's no way this rope will get caught up. So yeah.